over 600. Beg your pardon, it is said to change the lives of children in the young children attending a primary school in Mukuru slums, but it's not only the children who will benefit from a biogas energy project still in its initial stages. Residents living in surrounding areas are also set to benefit as Katian's Charles Kitonga reports. <laughs> More often than not, slums are associated with poverty, crime and low standards of life, a picture that eclipses the talent and innovation brewed in these rugged streets. Mukuru Kwanjenga, a slum area in Embakasi constituency, is home to over 100,000 people and it is here that we find Kwanjenga Primary School. When we arrive at the school, normal schooling activity is what welcomes us. Behind this normalcy, however, is a story of endurance. For the management of this school, Real headache lies in sustaining a free feeding program for 2,000 pupils that attend classes every day and lighting up the compound. With 130,000 shillings spent monthly on firewood for the feeding program, this has simply been unsustainable. This one has become very expensive because of the cost of the firewood. The school experiences acute shortage of power. This transformer installed by Kenya Power in the school compound has been subject to illegal tapping by the locals. This has forced the school to disconnect electricity in the classrooms. The rate at which these people who live around the school are tapping the electricity, making it so hard even to, uh, to, uh, to transfer electricity from the main administration block to the classes. You cannot because they will get away and tap that electricity. But like they say, necessity is a mother of invention. With the help of Afriso Energy, the school is recycling their waste to generate electricity and gas. By recycling human waste, the school expects to meet all the, its energy requirements while dealing with the sanitation issue in the area. When we will move the toilets from down there where the flooding takes place and we are going to take it to the upper, to the upper side where we have constructed the biodigester, the whole place down here, we are going to keep it very clean. There will be no mixing of flood water with the human waste and we are going to plant a lot of trees. For Afriso Energy, a startup pioneered by Amos Nguru, this is just one of the 117 projects they have constructed across the country since 2008. As an entrepreneur, the diesel shortage crisis in that year jolted the former Britain manager into action, wanting to provide cheaper alternatives to the community. The prices of diesel went up very high to 105 Kenya shillings. For the first time, they hit their 100 shillings mark. And uh, saw an opportunity. In this particular project, Amos pumped in 8.6 million shillings, but he assures there's quick return on investment. By September this year, the processor will produce biogas equivalent of 18 kilograms of LPG per day. This will be used to generate 15 kilohertz of electricity through a generator with a capability to light the school and its environs for 10 hours. Priority number one to us, as per the proposal that we presented, is provide the power to the to the school for their normal uses uh, which we are going to generate from uh, from the biogas it goes through a, a generator and then you are able to get uh, power for that conservation and use of renewable energy has been the topic of the day even on global round tables investments such as this will therefore see kenya grow its economy with minimal effects on nature even as the government continues to invest heavily in wind power projects charles gitonga ktn